Cupra have brought out a new Femenna and also some new matte colours. This one is Century Bronze. They've also brought out Enceladus Grey. Cooper have started to add a new sharp nose style front end to their cars as on this one and also on the new Leon. And I really like the fact they put a big Cooper badge on the front. You can get between 18 and 19 inch wheels, but 19 inch comes standard on some of the trim levels. The Cooper Fermenter comes in two different engine sizes, a 1.5 and a 2 litre. But obviously there's a bit of power differences here, so it starts off at 150 PS and the range topping one is 333 PS and it even comes with an all-wheel drive system so you can keep all of those horses firmly planted to the ground which is very helpful. You can have the option on this car to have something that I really like, some nice upgraded speakers and the ones that come in this are Sennheiser. The inside of the new Fermenter comes with a 13 inch touchscreen. They've also redesigned the back with a light bar spanning all the way across with a light up Cooper badge in the middle and lovely swooping indicators that actually swoop around the side of the car where it says fermenter in the lights in case you've forgotten what your car's called. Also, I really like the fact that it looks a little bit more sort of angular and aggressive at the back. It's nice touches. If you want to find out more about the Cooper fermenter, then you can come down to Pullman Cooper in Sunderland, just off Western Way, or you can join our website, pullmangroup.co.uk. Pullman, delivering a fantastic customer experience.